talk to you guys about style because my style has changed so many times and the only ones I can really remember are middle school through now. I mean, you know, college I'm in now, but so middle school through college and my style has changed numerous amount of times, but before it wasn't necessarily me changing my style, it was the people I hung out with and I let that influence me and I really shouldn't have because I didn't really know who I was and so I tried to be what other people were and it's just kind of like I was so in my shell and so afraid to talk to people and be social and all this stuff that's like mandatory to be a normal human being and it's like, wow, I'm just now becoming to be social. So I just wanted to go over. I think this is really funny. Don't make fun of me, okay? Don't call me a poser. <laughs> but when I was in middle school, I went, I went, well, okay, let me explain this to you first. I went, I lived in Galt. I went, I went, I went, uh, okay, anyways. Stutter. I went to, I went, why do I keep saying I went? I, I lived, I want to say I lived, I lived in Galt for a long time, like most of my life. I think it was like seven years. And when I was in, I don't remember elementary school at all, but I do remember middle school in like sixth through seventh grade. I live in Galt. And then after that, I moved here to Stockton. And so... I was a total tomboy in Galt, because nobody else was, actually. That was all me. But I grew up with two brothers, you know, and I was kind of influenced by that male, masculine type of rough house and stuff, even though I was a little sissy, and whenever we rough housed, I would cry. <laughs> but um, I was a tomboy for 6th and 7th grade, and then I moved here to Stockton, and I... It was weird because I'd never had a dress code before and I was like, what's a dress code? So, we had to wear certain colors and if you were any other color, you had to go to the principals. And a few kids actually got away with wearing green, green hats and beanies and stuff. But mostly the colors were supposed to be navy blue, white, khaki. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so then... After middle school, I went over to high school, and for the first two years of high school, I was kind of gothic, and people called me emo, and I it was just a really rough time for me because I didn't really have any friends, and I was trying to fit in, and the first person I met just happened to be a cutter, and um, I kind of got in with her crowd, and I dressed in all black and I wore thick eyeliner and I look at pictures of back then and I'm just like it like ew like that was me 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 <laughs> but then I think my junior year I started to dress more mature and more like a woman and so I you know, I dressed nicely, and I tried to carry myself well, and I was just starting to gain confidence, and then I met my fiancé. I really looked at myself, and I was like, you know what? I don't like my style. I want to change it. My computer froze on me. And so, now I shop at Tilly's, Anchor Blue. Um, more recently, I've started shopping at Love Culture and American Eagle and stuff like that. But I'm, I wouldn't call my style necessarily preppy. I just carry myself really well. Even though I'm not conceited, but I know that if you dress well, you look well. And that's what I try to do. So there you go. There's my history. <laughs> Have a good night, you guys. I'm going to bed. No, actually, it's only like 7 o'clock, so <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.